We'll get to the sort of autobiographical bits a little bit later, but I have to start with your reaction to the win on Saturday. Always better when you win, you say. Always better when we win, yeah. Um, great result. It's a real difficult place to go, not because of anything that Accrington do, but they're a good team. They've been solid at this level for a few years now. Um, so obviously to come away with the 3-0 win was excellent. Um, obviously it's probably the most random five minutes I've ever had in my life. Um, the two penalties and the goal, but then... I felt first 25 minutes we were totally in control and then obviously second half we, we changed tactically and, and we, we wanted to hit them on counter a lot more and I thought we could have had a couple more goals to be honest. But yeah, really pleasing if you'd have offered me a 3-0 win um, at 12 o'clock that day then I'd have definitely took it. How pleased were you with the, the way that the guys sort of adapted the game plan relating to the sort of situation in the game? Yeah, rel relatively well. I think there's still a lot of work we've got to do and they know that and we know that. But um, they're getting to know us, we're getting to know them. Um, there'll be little tactical changes that we will do throughout season, different games, different opposition. We'll always have us principles that we, we believe in and, and lads know that. But yeah, there will be always tactical changes because I think that that's what you have to do to try and win games of football. And that's what we want to do. We want to be entertaining, we want to be on front foot, we want to play forward and run forward. But we also know that that can't be to detriment or a result. We'll look ahead to, to Tuesday in a moment or two, but we're still the first opportunity for supporters to get to know you a little bit. So, so tell us about your journey in particular with, with Paul Warren and, and the rest of the group. Well, I were working at Academy at Rotherham. Um, uh, the manager went at Rotherham and, and uh, Paul was a uh, fitness coach there. I was the um, Edder Academy coaching, so I stepped up to help him. Um, purely on the fact to just try and get the club through till end of the season. We had no, well, we didn't think we were going to ever get off a job or want a job, if I'm going to be brutally honest. So it was just kind of doing a job for a club. Um, we got relegated, but we had a small form of success probably in that limited period. I think we had seven points come up to Christmas, so it was always going to be a difficult challenge, but we got some results. We kind of sorted some things out at club in that short period of time, and then Paul got the job, Richie joined us, but I played with Richie at Mansfield, so I, I knew Richie. Um, we had a goalkeeping coach called Mike Pollitt, and then he left, and then we brought Andy in. So he's been with us now three years. So, uh, yeah, Andy worked with me in academy, so we've all got links somewhere along the line, but it just works. We, we're hard-working, down-to-earth blokes who want the team to be liked and want the, the team to play attacking football. We, wherever we go to games of football, we want to be entertained. Um, but we also want to win, uh, which is key. So, yeah, that, that's kind of how it works. I probably sit in the middle bit. I think, um, as you know from Gaffer's funny one, kind of tells jokes, and Richie's grump, grumpy one. Andy doesn't say a lot, and then I sit in the middle of that somewhere. So I'm funny when I need to be and a little bit grumpy when I need to be. But, yeah, it works. Paul has talked about how important it was that, that you came as a package to Derby, um, and he's talked a little bit about who does what, as, as you did there as well. Did, did that just sort of evolve naturally did the duties when it comes to the work did that just evolve naturally as well yeah it did yeah yeah um we all know kind of his own strengths really um like, like i mean I'm, i know I'll probably say it and people go oh, here he goes he's his member of staff but like like paul's best man manager i've ever seen work um how he gets best out of people um he's a character who you want to hang around with he's a character who's funny he's a character who wants to win games of football uh, Rich is an unbelievable coach, um, so so he, he'll do tactics, etc. I'll kind of work somewhere in between that, um, going around players and seeing if they've got any issues, doing individual work, um, set pieces, and then Andy's goalkeepers. Um, but when we all come together, yeah, it just for some like the dynamic just really, really works. We all know what we're doing and when we're doing it. Um, we fall out, which I think is a good thing. I think if we all just went in a room and just agreed all the time. Um, however, one thing we are clear of is that when we come out of that room, then whatever we've decided as a group goes and we stick to that plan. And um, But there's always an element that we can change things. And I think it's it's crucially important in the modern game that you, you can always be adaptable to whatever situation. And that's how we see ourselves, really. Who got who into the NFL? Uh, yeah, we only got me into the NFL, yeah. Um, killed me a little bit really but absolutely love it can't get enough for it sat up last night till one o'clock like a loser uh, watching Rams slamming me uh, 
slamming my laptop about because I didn't think they were very good first half, but then the second half they were good. So, yeah, quite ironic really there. I'm at Rams and I'm an LA Rams fan, but obviously Gaffer's a Pittsburgh Steeler. So, um, yeah, just love it. Love, love tactical setup of it. I think there's a lot that you can transfer from from that into football in terms of individual needs and individual learning and how they take ownership of their careers, which is how we do it here, really. We want players to understand the game, want them to work towards something, understand what they need to do and, 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 and where to kind of steer them along that path, really, and, and get them back on it when they drop off it slightly. Well, when I asked Paul about it last week, he, he said he was a fan for the, for the escapism, but it sounds like actually you take a lot, you transfer a lot over to the job as well from it. Yeah, I think Paul's uh, initial plan when he f initially took job um, at his old club was, um, it, it, it kind of reminded me a lot of how NFL is. Um, but he wanted people enjoying coming to work. He wanted variety in training. He wanted an environment where culture comes first. So things like the badge, you know, the badge year, it's important. Um, I don't expect every fan, every player, sorry, in that dressing room to be a Derby fan, but they respect the badge. So we had to Tuesday, winning, and you're through to the next round. So simple job for you. Yeah, um, simple game, isn't it, really? Uh, but no, no, it'd be another good, uh, good test. It'd be a good chance for us to you squad again. Um, important, we get these minutes up for players who aren't had them, uh, with injuries, etc., so we can use them when this. Uh, frantic league period comes up which we've got coming up so it's a good opportunity for us to get people's minutes up try and um, implement things that we're working on in training um, but yeah no, another great game at home that we're looking, really looking forward to. Is there any extra work involved in, in preparing to face an academy side just with the amount of information film that's available? Uh, it's quite readily available now really so we, we, we treat every game exactly the same so we, we, we won't treat Man City's under 21s last time we'll treat Ipswich Friday night because we're not them guys, we're not disrespectful to a competition, we're not disrespectful to opponents, we want to treat every game like it's some of the players last and that's what we emphasise to them, they don't know if it is or it isn't going to be so it's important that we have that mindset going straight into it and also as, as an ex-player I, I won't really want is to have a set, set process and then all of a sudden we're playing a competition and we drop off that process because it takes meaning away from it, in, in our opinion. So now we'll, we know everything that we'll probably need to know, even though there's a lot more players at Man City than there might be at Ipswich, for example. But um, yeah, the lads will be fully aware of what, what they're coming up against. Yeah, and, and as academy sides go, I mean, there's not many any better than, than Manchester City, is there? Um, I, I wouldn't have thought so. Man City, Chelsea, um, they're two kind of dominated, I suppose, aren't they? And had a lot of lone players go out. so. Yeah, it'd be a good test. Um, I know their manager, Brian Barry Murphy, really well. So he plays in a, in a style similar to the first team, obviously, that's why he got the job. But real good guy will emphasise their philosophy and their things that they want to implement. But it's down to us. It's at our ground and we want to be on front foot and take game to them.